Are you recording this? Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, you know, someone in chat, you can see it. You can see it in chat right now. Uh, he asked me, Come here, have you heard of CCRV? It's a very interesting dividend ETF. Okay, we're going to look at CCRV together. Um, so I just type it up in my uh, stock analysis. So it's right here. Uh, this is iShare Commodity Curve Carry Strategy ETF. Just the title alone, I have no idea what it means. Uh, curve Carry Strategy? I don't know what a curve carry, I know what a commodity is. Matter of fact, maybe I don't know what a commodity is. Let's, let's, let's Google it real quick. Commodity. <laughs> because as soon as I think I know what it is, and then you, then you just throw it out the window. A raw material, a primary agriculture product can be bought and sold such as copper or coffee. Okay, well that's what I thought. Because if you own shipping, uh, like I own a lot of shipping, they move a lot of commodity, bulk, bulk trades, uh, uh, material, raw material. So that's what I thought. When I think of commodity, I think of raw material um, that, that can be bought. There's a lot of raw material, but not, you're not buying in an open market um, that you can buy. And, uh, all right, so I was thinking about that. Okay, so at least we got the right definition. So we were, we were thinking about it. That's what I do a lot. So for those who want to know how I do my research, my investment, uh, you know, how do I find new stocks and fund, uh, I, I get it from a lot of time from tips like this. Like this just popped up by um, LA2V. And so now, now, I'm, now I'm on a hunting trail. And now you're going to see me go through the process of hunting. Let me read all his... Uh, message you real quick before I continue. It's struggling right now, but what stock isn't maybe a good buy, Kamari? Do okay in bad economy, I think. Uh, we'll try to join Discord, but nothing happens after I accept the invite. Uh, AK Willie, I don't know how to help you, man. A, a Discord, Discord is a, oh, well, no, let me talk about it later. I'm, I'm making a video right now. LA2E, it's almost on pace to return 98% annual three year plus. Uh, Three-year growth with 98%. Okay, yeah, okay. I like it already. Now I do like a couple of commodity. I'm gonna show you a commodity that was on my on my watch list. Let me just show you my watch list real quick, so this way you know what I'm talking about. Um, I love this commodity uh, fund. Um, this is A U A N right here. U A N. I love U A N. All right. Uh, it's a CVR Partners U L P U A N. I think this you know. They, they sell essentially uh, uh, farming material, farming, uh, uh, sup they, they, they help supplies of farmers, okay? Uh, one thing I like about it, look at the revenue and earning. That's what I like about any company that has revenue and earning. Uh, I, good revenue, good earning, uh, it's a win for me. And the other thing I like about it is the dividends. You gotta look at the dividends, okay? Uh, they pay pretty good dividends. Um, and that's why that's why it's on my radar. Um, but so there is there is a couple of commodity I am tracking. I, I haven't owned it yet, but the reason why I haven't owned it because it's 70, 70 something dollars is the, is the lowest six months. I show you, uh, yeah, seventy four dollars the lowest. It's just expensive. It's just very expensive. I, I but I do want to own it. When I'm gonna own it, I don't know. Maybe like four or five years down the road, three years down the road. But I, I've been keeping track of it uh, because anything, any raw material that supply farming, uh, this is why Bill Gates is putting a lot of money into farmland, into farming. Because what's going to happen in the world, as the world grow, the demand for good farming is, is so, like, it just get more expensive. Like food is getting expensive, everything gets expensive, and because the demand for farming, for good farming is, is great. I mean, think if you if you don't know what's going on in, in terms of the world of farming, take a look at Sri Lanka. Go back about, I think six months ago, maybe a year ago, go read the case study on Sri Lanka. Just Google Sri Lanka and the economic uh, downturn. And, and understand, if you wanna understand about farming, go look at Sri Lanka. Uh, case study, and then you will you will understand farming pretty quickly, uh, because, and then you understand all the material need to farm, uh, and trade. And, you know how they they literally Sri Lanka just shut down the entire economic system, 
because they just no longer could uh, generate that income, you know, for farming income, because they, they were using essentially their raw material to trade off for oil, you know, and so it, it just, it's a really good case study on, and, and as you as investor, to understand macroeconomic a little bit, um, you have, you know, why, why somebody like me who go after high yield dividends look at farming? It's just another opportunity. It's just another opportunity to look at things. Okay, uh, let's take a look at CCRV ETF stocks, right? And so I just, that's the first thing I do. I just Google the definition of it. So make sure you're in the right frame. I'm drinking my coffee here. And the second thing I look at is the price point. As $22. So $22, this is the first time I look at it, doesn't mean anything. And this is like SVOL. You, $22, when I think, when I look at price, I always could try to compare it to something else that I already have. So $22, NDY, N, NVDY, uh, SVOL, and, and um, you know. Hey, Brian Smith, uh, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. And, um, and so I look at that. So next thing I want to do is I want to look at, so it's going up yesterday, and I look at five days. This is just ch basic chart reading. Wow, it jumped. What is going on here? It jumped like almost 40 cents. So it, that's crazy. M more than that. I mean, it started off at 57, and it went to 22.02 by the end of the day. That's crazy. Okay, something, something... All right, so I don't know what's going on because I'm. This is the first time I'm looking at it. Then I look at one month. It, the lowest is 21.20, and it's 22, but it's down right now 3%. Okay, and then you look at year to date. Ooh, it's pretty. It's it's pretty high. This is the high point. So and then you look at the 22 average. Uh, 52 weeks average here. 52 weeks high is 27 dollar. 52 weeks low is 18 dollars. So somewhere around here is 18 dollar right here. So this is the lowest point in June, all right? So then the summertime is pretty low, all right? So commodity, commodity, you have to add season for your consideration. Any, any commodity supply moving and stuff that is there's, the there's seasonal is factor too. So I, the reason I say all this stuff out loud, normally I don't need to say it out loud because I just do the research myself. It's in my head, but because I'm making YouTube video, it's online. I'm I'm saying out loud. Um, and so this way, this way you you can see the thought process of me going through it. So I look at it seasonal, seasonal update. Okay, now I'm gonna look at five years or max. You know, uh, here, okay. So this thing started somewhere. Inception was September first, 2020, and um, and it been going up. The highest point was thirty-one dollars. So I I like to understand that the highest point that you know at one point this stock is capable of this ETF is capable to reach that high. So the question is, can it reach that high again? So that's that's one of the reasons why I want to know. Well, if you want to reach that high, also you want to know if it's reach that low. So it, at one point it's capable to reach at $18. And then does it, does it, can it go back that high? Can it come back down that low? So that's that's something to consider when you when you look at ETF, you look at stocks and stuff like that. Now ETF, rules apply a little bit differently you know so uh, a stock high and a stock low there's there's a whole market interest in that so a high there could be anything a low could be uh, literally there could be any other factor so you have to do a lot of research but ETF is a little bit different you know because um, uh, there's there's other holdings involved there's fund managers uh, so there's there's something involved because you know the ETF is not based on sale. You know, like I'm selling a widget, I'm selling a refrigerator to the Eskimos, and then as a result, there's things that go up and down based on sale, based on growth, based on management, CEO, and all that stuff. You know, there's a whole things that make the company tick uh, that the ETF does not have to do. That that's one thing about the advantage of owning an ETF versus owning a stock. You know, uh, so. Um, so the next thing, so I look at all these things, I say, okay, so to me, uh, it's probably on the low side. If you, if you look at the diagram, the best way to do it is look at the chart in Yahoo. So you have, you have to switch different application. And if you don't, uh, then you're kind of hurting. 
that application is it's good for YouTube. This is this application is good for videos and YouTube that I'm making, but it's it's because it's easy to read and simple. But you really want to do analyze. You you gotta like look at different other tools. Uh, I use I use um, um, uh, my uh, Charles Schwab a lot to to show to find out what's going on uh, because Charles Schwab is show like the, the graphical picture of these things, right? Um, so here it is. I'm looking at it. All right, let me look at let me look at through my portfolio lens. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So if I were to add CRV, CCRV into my uh, holding here. And then I, I just do this for the purpose of YouTube video. So uh, I, I just going along about right now, I would just click on my, uh, if I was to do it myself, just for speed purpose. I would just go to my Charles Schwab, click on CCRVN, all the information there. But unfortunately, I'm doing this live broadcast, and if you click on my Charles Schwab account, I haven't set up yet. I don't know. I don't know by click on the button it will show my account numbers. That's why reason I didn't go do that. All right, so CCRV. So it's just what I thought. It's somewhere in the mid range right here because the low 52 weeks is $18, the high to $27. I try not to enter the enter the the market. Uh, in the position, when they said entering the position is when do you buy it? Do you buy it on the high side or the low side? Because I don't have, I don't own it yet. Uh, so if I was going to enter it, when do you enter? Uh, well, I you want to enter at the lowest point, at the lowest point. And when do you get out of position? You want to get out of the uh, the highest point. So, um, so essentially, basic economic 101, uh, which I don't know why I'm quoting it because I never went to school for it, uh, but. My, it's just basic understanding. So it's uh, buy low, sell high, and don't sell anything at a loss. I mean, if you do those basic things, you're gonna do well in investment. You're not gonna go broke, pretty much. You know, you're gonna do well, all right? Just basic principle, all right? So this thing is on the middle average and it's on a low size. So it's it's on my low average, uh, what do you call my, on on the other half of the average of the, the curve. If there was a medium curve or statistics, you know, statistic has a medium and has it has all these bell curve and um, so it's on the left side of the spectrum which is pretty good uh, that's a good start but I preferably I would like to be around you know 18 19 dollar maybe a 20 dollar range this is at 22 so so the price point doesn't get me interest doesn't get me excited sometime when I see fun I don't like but because it's so low I'll give you an example Verizon Verizon is at its all-time low right now. That is awesome. Like I want to own Verizon right now as all-time low, and I just DCA down with it. You know, especially I haven't, I don't own Verizon. But if you're gonna enter into a position for the very first time, you want to buy at the lowest point, and then and then just DCA with it. Okay, okay. That's that's my first thought. Okay, but then you have to look at the, why is it going low? There's a in in a stock. If it's low, it's probably low for a reason because the stock is probably failing. So you gotta you gotta watch that, you know. So like Verizon may be a case of it's failing. I, I don't know. I haven't really looked at Verizon. All right, CCRV is in the middle, and uh, so stuck somewhere in the uh, low middle. All right, let's go look at that. All right, the next thing I do is I look at the dividends. Wow, six point six seven. All right, there's a dividend tab. I haven't looked at it yet. And this use when you see numbers like this, that get me excited. I go like, wow. Dividend yield 30%. Wow, I love it. All right, ETF that paid 30% e uh, dividends. I love it. I love it. I, I I love it already. I fell in love with this already. I don't even know. I don't know anything about it. I fell in love with this already because this is yield max territory now. This is what you call ultra high dividend. This is the dollar amount. This is the percentage. I like I like high I like high dollar amount more so than the percentage. All right, so that's just that's just me. I mean, it's preference. Some people like the percentage and high. All right, um, but I haven't clicked on anything yet. So so far, I like this is great. All right, just the position is wrong. It's it's on a high side and it's going up. All right, and so let's go look at it. Okay, so X date is December 13, 2022. Ooh, I don't like it. All right, I don't like it already. I I don't even know what it is. Okay, 
So as you know, I'm a monthly dividend kind of guy. So I, I want, I pretty much all my precision, even one of these precision here, they, most of them are monthly. And I got a couple of quarterly, but mostly are monthly. And this thing, the last X date was December 13, 2022. This is October. Uh, oh, yeah, and going to November. So it's coming up here. And so essentially what it's telling me, without even click on anything else, this is an annual payout. Um, without reading anything else, just basic chart. This is an annual payout. All right, so that's a concern. I don't really care much of an annual payout. Um, but is there's money, you know, if there's money to be made, yeah, you can buy it now and get the six dollars and then sell it at the end. I guess that's what, let's see, that's what people do. Yeah, I, th I think that's what they did. <laughs> they, they, they did exactly that. Just like I said, they bought it, uh, they bought it so they can get the share and then they, they drop it. All right. So when do you buy it? Well, you buy a $24, which is September, back in September. That's a good time to buy it. Uh, November is probably your last ditch buying, but you're paying $26. Uh, and October, so sometime right now is a good time to buy it based on historical chart. And let's see if that's true. November, no, it's not a true statement in other area. But what a true statement is, there's a line. There's a line here. And there's a line here, and then there's going to be a line here in December 2023. All right, so, and you get $6 for this thing. All right, uh, it's crazy, uh, crazy. That's that's pretty good. All right, let's just read it real quickly. Is that what that was said? LA2E, he said almost three year pace, three year growth. The stock has, hasn't value, so no decay yet. However, a yearly dividend dip. It's paying annual dividend in December and a high yield in past couple of years. Uh, that's a good strategy. Yes, except Tesla stock. I <laughs> yes, I forgot when I bought it up that do most monthly. Okay, uh, so I share commodity curve carry strategy is an exchange traded fund that is based on ICE Bank of America commodity enhanced carry index. All right, uh, the fund track index composed of future contract on commodities select from broad commodity universe based on positive role yield back. So this issued by BlackRock, ugh. how much is it? 226 million. Yeah, I would let this fail. All right, let's look at the dividends. The dividends, so in December 2021, they pay $5.8 and December 13, 2022, which is coming up here, it's only a month. Would you own this for a month? Now, I, my personal take on this, um, regardless whether it's Black Rocks or not, I, I that means don't, I don't care. It's just the, the idea of just owning this. There's another fund by AI, I, I think it's called AIS. AIS is doing the same thing. It's the uh, Kathy Wood Fund, uh, A A I S. I don't know, something AIS, something maybe ASX or something like that. It's ARC, why well, I can't see it. There's another fund by Kathy Wood that pay annual also. And and one of the question people always ask, should I buy it and then just sell it at the end? If you wanna do that, I, I think there's an economic uh, justification to do that. And if people do that, I don't, I, I, I'm not gonna fault you. I'm not gonna tease you about it. I think it's because anytime that you can generate, you can get $6 for one, for your share for $22, Let's just go ahead and do the math here real quick. Calculator. All right. Wait, I I typed calculator and I got caught up. By the, by the way, that's a good TV, good movie. It's stupid. It's a good movie, but it's really stupid. You know, it's just it's just dumb. Especially when they kill all the CIA agents. Like what the, you know. They said movie. There's a certain movie that I, like military movie, modern military movie where like they wipe out the whole Marines. Uh, I'm a Marine, so they, they just come out and wipe out, like kill a whole bunch of Marines, like a platoon of Marines. I just, I'm just gonna give you realistic answer. I'm not, I'm not even trained, you know, assassin like like some, some Marines out there. They're just really good. 
<laughs> but you're not going to wipe out 30 Marines. You're just not. You're just not. You're just not. All right. A platoon of Marines is pretty deadly. You're just not. All right. Whatever movie that make and they say, hey, we're going to fight the Marines. If you use the Marines and you have to say you have to fight the Marines. Yeah, it's just if you want to be realistic, one one Marine is bad, bad ass read enough. All right. So, and then the study of them? Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, so don't make movies like that because I'm, I'm just, I just don't like it. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we going? Uh, 20, okay, let's say you get a thousand, and let's say you own, let's say you, put, let's say you spend, uh, well, uh, yeah, a thousand dollars because that's how much I would spend, a thousand dollars because that's how much I get. So at $22, what's the current position? $22. So I'm just going to make a $22 exactly. Divide by 22. So you get 45 shares. Okay. 45 share. And then how much it. So I have. I, I spent $1,000. I got 45 share. And I'm not going to touch it uh, from October. Well, so, so October is kind of done. So it's November and December. So essentially, no, essentially it's just November because December is paying. So. October is too late, so it's just November, it's just one month, all right? But you're gonna get time, $6.67, so I don't know what that, you gotta do the math on average here, because uh, let's just do it real quick. I got, I got, a, I got a calculator. Um, I, I mean, I'm gonna open another calculator so you don't, but you can't see it because I don't, so let me just do the math real quick here. 6.67 plus, 5.8. There's only two of them, so it's easy, right? Divide by two. That's they come out to be twelve dollar and something. Divide by two. Six dollar point two three cents. Okay. So since we don't know what it's gonna pay, let's just assume it's six point two three. That's the average, okay? Six point two three. All right. So come out to be two hundred eighty three dollar. So for a thousand dollar, you put in, you're gonna get two hundred eighty three dollars. All right. All right. Let's just let's just do. Just remember that number. Let me let me take a notepad somewhere, and and so I can let me open my notepad here real quick, and then so I can remember this number two hundred eighty three. All right, two hundred eighty three dollar. Okay, so now let's do this. You take a thousand dollar, and you buy Tesla. I'm just going to use Tesla, my favorite stocks. All right, one thousand dollar and. The, the X date for Tesla is going to be in November. So October is too late. It's going to be November. And then you're going to get December. So November and December. All right. So right now, the current price is $13.50 for Tesla. So it's roughly, you know, Tesla is roughly around $13.50 year on. All right. Let's say, let's say it's $14. All right. Let's say it's move up by, by, well, you buy it now. So essentially, I don't have to, I don't have to, Fantasize is going to be 14. It's 13, 1350 by, by Monday, okay? So divide by 1350. Now, if I, like I said, if I'm not making YouTube video, all this would have been done like 20 minutes ago because, because I just do it myself. I calculate these things pretty quickly and done. But I'm doing, I'm walking and showing you exactly what I'm doing. So it take a little time. So 74 share. I'm going to get 74 share uh, for $1,000, all right? And 74 share time, uh, it pays 70 cents right now. So $51, all right? $51, and then November and December, so plus plus another $51 time two. So come out be 103. All right, so I already knew the answer, but I just want to go to the process of it. Uh, so for $1,000, you're gonna get two hundred eighty-three dollar, which is a hundred eighty-three dollar more than Tesla. Yeah, that's that's a winner. That's a winner. So I yeah I don't I, uh, lazy two TV, based on the numbers, based on the the, the worksheet that we just did, uh, I I see I don't see any problem buying it. All right, uh, CCRV. Okay, so here's here's the catch though. You can buy and keep it. Now, if you keep it for one year, 
Well, I think this is where yield max gonna kicks butt because yield max Tesla pay the dividends. It's gonna it's gonna be more than eight dollars. Yeah, it's gonna pay more than eight dollars. It's gonna pay more. So you so for your thousand dollar, you gotta you gotta you you have to own Tesla over a long time because this thing pay annually, annually. It, it does not even compete against Tesla. But for the short period right now, October, November, and December, a payout in December, it, it's it's worth the money. Now, if you if this is February or this is March, oh you know at the beginning of the year, I would say no, it's not because you're not going to get paid until December. It's crazy, all right. So so as a result, you're going to have to sell it. So you're gonna buy it and sell it. Okay, so here's the problem. $21 and then the price dropped to 14. Oh no, that's Tesla, I'm sorry. What, what am I doing? All right, so using last year as a model, $26, I'm gonna drop to $19. So, well, guess what, guess what the difference is? The difference is your div dividend, which we all know the answer already to that, but however, I, I just want to purpose the show on YouTube. So you gotta you gotta buy this. You gotta buy this on uh, on the before the before the X date, and you have to sell this before. I, okay, so that's that's scary. I don't know if you can sell it. I don't know if you can ditch it fast enough. You're gonna take a loss just trying to sell your fund. The nav the nav's gonna drop. The price of the dividends would pay out. Bam! It dropped all the way to sixteen dollar. Oh, uh, nineteen dollar. In this case, from last year. From twenty six to nineteen dollar. That's more than the, than the dividend. You're gonna lose money. The dividend six dollar uh, six last year was six dollars sixty seven cent, and the price dropped twenty six. Went all the way to nineteen eighty five. You know, nineteen forty four. That is crazy. The bottom line is, it's not worth the risk. I don't do it because I don't know enough, and I don't want to experiment my one thousand dollar. I don't want to experiment it, you know, because you're gonna buy it. I buy it now. I can see it. I can see it. I have to hold it uh, on the X date. You you're registered, right? Then you sell it that morning, on the X date morning. I don't know. I don't know how fast can you sell something because you got to sell essentially when 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 does the money calculate? The, I think the money of the X date calculate at 0 9:30 in the morning of the X date or the ending of the day before, closing date. I I, I don't know. I mean, depend who I talk to. I you I I use the closing date as as a trigger point for me so like if i want to own something or, or or do something i just i i use the 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 closing date of the day before the x date so example the x date is december 13th the closing on december 12th at 1959 would be the date that you have to own the stock by but somebody told me that at Somebody told me the morning at 0930 when the market opened, your portfolio has to be registered, your, your stock has to be registered 0930 to sell it. You can sell right afterward. I don't I don't know what the answer is. And I, I don't want to experiment. I don't want to experiment. I'm pretty sure somebody know the answer. But I don't want to experiment that. It's too crazy. Because 0930, you gotta sell this whole thing. Before it dropped to 
$19. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Ham Jam from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, uh, Lav 2 TV, LA 2 TV, uh, I would say, I'd say it's not worth it. it. This is, this is way too much. What, what, what if you're in an emergency that day? What if you go to the hospital that day? What if you're, uh, I don't know what's going on. What, what day is that? Uh, December, when is the X date? Is it, is it always December 13th? Yeah, so December 13th. December 13th for this year is on a Wednesday. See, I can't do it because that's a work day for me. Like in that morning, I, I can't do it. I'm going to miss it because no my luck, I'm going to be in a staff meeting. I'm going to be in a meeting somewhere or I'm going to I'm going to be I'm I'm going to I'm going to do my job. So I I I literally can't do it. So So I I got to come home and sell it. And by that time, it's too late. You know, my, my, the whole portfolio just dropped. Uh, like I said, again, LA2 TV, this is, uh, I'm just a YouTuber. You don't have to listen to me. But if you want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. I don't care. I mean, it's, it's indifferent with me. But I wouldn't do it. That's crazy. I wouldn't do it for many factor. Number one, it's Black Rocks. Can't stand them. Number two, um, uh, it's uh, the X date is December 13th for 2023. That's a weekday for me in the middle of the week, Wednesday. I'm in danger not be able to sell the fund uh, after the X date. So then I'm stuck with the price. And then after I'm stuck with the price, then then you then the point, the purpose of buying, it doesn't really make sense. Um, other than that, other than that, I have no issue with it. I have no issue with everything. The dividend yield, the dividends, um, yeah, I have no issue with, with this whole thing. Do I see any growth potential in this thing? No, not at all. No, not at all. Even though at one point it showed $31 here. Uh, dude, dude, might as well take all that money and buy SCHD. You have a better chance. You have a better chance. All right. You, you just, it, it's just, this is just too crazy for me. I, I, it's up to you, man. It's up to you. If if you're if you're that much of a capitalist and you want to go after six dollars and sixty seven cents, um, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Just not for. It. Okay, with that, that's my opinions. Uh, I am not buying CCRV. And peace out, everybody. Take care.